Hello, my name is Casey Stubb, and I'm going to be getting the FEF token, Financial and Educational Freedom. They're doing a pre-sale. Who doesn't want financial and educational freedom? I know I do. But in order to do this, we have to get Bone Token, and we have to get it on a Shibarium network. And so it's going to take a few steps to do it. Let me show you how I did it. So the first time I did it, I just I had Bone in my wallet left over and I bridged it I followed this video so if you have bone already you can bridge it directly to Shibarium with Etherscan using this technique um, I'll put the link in the description it worked great but I don't have bone now um, so because I already did it but I wanted to do it again so I have to do a different method so uh, step number one is I'm gonna buy ETH and I'm gonna buy it on Robinhood so I'm just gonna go here and by ETH, and the reason I use Robinhood is because it's super simple and fast. Um, you can use other methods, but I prefer Robinhood. It's my favorite. So we're just going to go ahead and buy $50 right here. And we're just going to buy $50 of Robinhood. Okay, so now that we do that, um, and I already did it, and uh, that video got destroyed because my power has been going out all day. So I already did that, but I'm just showing the process. So we're going to go ahead, review order, we're going to buy it. Now, once you buy it, which I already did, we're going to go ahead and click Send and Receive. So you go ahead and send it, and we're going to send ETH, right? And we're going to send to, I'm going to send it to my MetaMask wallet, right? So this is the one that I'm going to be sending to right in here. So we're going to copy that over, and uh, we're going to send our ETH over here. So we're going to click Send, and then once we do that, we select how much ETH we're going to send, and we're going to send it over, right? So uh, in this case, we'll just put what I have. Uh, I'll just copy this over, and we're going to put it in the amount. Okay, so now we're going to go review the transaction, and we're going to send that over. Okay, so that's step one, getting buying ETH and sending it to MetaMask. Now, step number two is we're going to go over to Shibarium, and we're going to bridge and we're going to send our ETH over into the Shibarium Bridge. Let me show you how to do that. Okay, so step, step number two, now I bought my ETH and I sent it to my MetaMask wallet, right? So step one, buy the ETH. Step two, send it to my MetaMask. Step number two is to bridge over your ETH onto Shibarium. You're going to bridge over your ETH onto Shibarium. So you go to, um, you go to Shibarium, and that's shibarium.shib.io slash bridge. I'll include that link in the description. So now what we're going to do is we're going to deposit that. So I um, want to make sure that my wallet here is connected. So we're going to uh, make sure. So make sure that this is connected. Let's see. Okay. See if that's the right amount of ETH. It's 0.228. I believe that's correct. We're going to check the wallet. ETH was 0.228. Okay. So now we're going to import that in. And we're going to do, it's going to cost us some money. Uh, so we're going to, because of gas fees, I don't know exactly how much it's going to cost. But we're going to drop that down a little. Let's go to 227 just to see if we can do it. All right, so now we're going to move it from the ETH network to Shibarium. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Transfer, moving funds from Ethium to Shibarium. Okay, so come, approve deposit. Complete deposit, continue. All right, so there's the estimated three fee, three dollars and thirty-seven cents, uh, and it's fifty-one dollars. And so now it says it'll take twenty to thirty minutes to move the funds from Ethereum to Shibarium mainnet. So now I'm getting a, a, a pop-up box happening right here. It's asking for the approval, and it says I don't have enough ETH in my account. It looks like uh, the fee is over the amount, about $4. So what I'm going to have to do now is just reject this, and we're going to do it again. But this time, I'm just going to drop it down. Let's do 225 this time. And uh, I, we're going to do it a little bit less on the size. We're going to complete the deposit. Let's see what happens. Okay, it's popping up again. This time, still don't have enough. Okay, we're going to reject it. We're going to try one more time. Let's go... Let's just go 220. Let's just see what we got. Let's just keep trying. Okay, so 20 minutes. We're going to do it. Check out the wallet. Uh, still don't have enough. 
Wow. Um, 54, a four dollar fee. Okay. Keep trying. Let's go two, two, one, nine. And, uh, you know, I'm sure other people know how to do this better than me. <laughs> but I'm just showing you how I'm doing. Okay, still don't have enough. Fifty-four, four dollars. I'm gonna keep trying. Let's go to uh, one five. We're gonna transfer point two one five. It's gonna be interesting to see how much money I actually transfer in. Forty-eight dollars. So I still might not have enough now that I'm looking here because I need. It's this forty-eight dollars. I was doing fifty-one. I need to get it down to. Uh, four dollars and ten cents gas so I need to get it from 51 the amount in my wallet we're going to reject this uh, the amount in my wallet here is fifty one dollars so if it's going to cost a five dollar fee I need to get this down to about forty five just to make sure that would leave me six dollars so we're going to try it again and we're going to do two one zero and then this time we're going to make sure we have enough money so we're going to click continue and then 47 that's still not enough so we're going to go uh, max and we're going to go to two we're just going to do point two we're just going to do point two Let's see what that does for us okay that gets us down to 45 that should get cover it this time should have done that in the front end apologize okay so now we're good i'm sending over 49 dollars i got a four dollar fee so we're going to confirm it, and uh, there we go. So now I'm moving my ETH from Ethereum network to Shibarium network. Now it says that it's going to take 20 to 30 minutes. You're going to see up here it says pending. I approve the transaction. And so now it says that it's on route, okay? It's on route. So we're going to pause this. But before I do, I want to tell you what the next step is. Now that it's here, we're going to go. It's on Shibarium. Now I'm going to go to my MarSwap. And I'm going to connect over here onto Shibarium. Okay, so we're going to connect right here. We're going to connect to the Shibarium wallet. We're just going to um, double check here. We're going to check our, um, our MetaMask. It's connected. Okay, so there we have it. I've got my Bone token is in there. And I'm on the Shibarium network. Okay, so I have my Bone. But... ETH is coming through, but I got to wait about 20 minutes. So I'm going to pause the video, and when the 20 minutes are up, we're going to resume over here on the MarSwap exchange. All right, now that I have put my ETH in Shibarium, now I have to turn it into Bone, and I do that over here on MarSwap. This is how I do it. Uh, and so you want to make sure your wallet's connected. Uh, connect your wallet, your MetaMask wallet, connect it and make sure it's on the Shibarium network so you can see I'm all connected, I'm all ready to go. I have three bone, but I want to convert my ETH into bone. So we're going to click trade. Okay, and so right here it starts out as bone, but we're going to try to switch this up and we're going to look for ETH. Okay, there we go. I've got the 0 .2, 0 .002 that I switched over. So we're going to now swap that over, and I need some bone. Now it doesn't cost ETH, it costs bone. Um, so we're going to need bone, which I have three bone in there, okay? I have it, but I want to swap, so that's going to be used as my transaction fee, but I'm going to swap, and I'm going to be able to get 77 bone, right? 77 bone, uh, that's the max, If yeah, 77 bone. And then these are the different um, prices, Mar swap, Chewy swap, Pump swap, so you can see MarSwap prices are pretty good. We're going to get the most amount of bone. And so now we're going to go ahead and do swap. Okay, so we're going to confirm the swap. And so now it's waiting for the approval. And here we go. Let's see if I have enough gas fee. Here's my gas fee. What's really nice is it's 0.16 bone. It's only 10 cents. So that's one of the big reasons why we're using Shibarium nowadays is because of the gas fees. Um, it was $5 on ETH. And here we're only paying 10 cents. And as a matter of fact, sometimes I'm paying 15 and up to like $20 for a transaction on the ETH network. It's nuts. So I'm going to click confirm. All right. So now we are going to click add it to the wallet. There we go. Transaction submitted. And uh, we're just going to click OK. 
here and we're going to close it. All right. So now we're going to click swap again. Make sure everything's looking good. Um, okay, I got an error. All right, I got an error. So I don't know what that means. <laughs> let's see here. Uh, let's see what my wallet says. Okay, so I have 80 bone. So maybe that was the problem is I did it twice. Right, I did it twice. So I have 80 bone now. Right, 80 bone, which is about $50. So with my ETH transfer, I've lost a little bit, but not too much. So now that I have that, I want to commit that to my FEF, Financial and Educational Freedom. It's right here. So we're going to click that, and I want to commit some tokens. I've already committed 185 bone, but I want to do some more. So we're going to go ahead, and I can't do it all because of the bone fee, uh, but it's not a, the fee isn't a lot. Right, so we're just going to do 79. I'm just going to leave one bone in there for my fees. So we're going to confirm it again. And uh, we're going to confirm. And it says confirming. And look, success. I contributed 79 bone tokens. And now I've committed 264 bone to the project um, FEF Financial Freedom. So I hope that was helpful. Um, let me know if you have any questions or if you want to see any more types of content like this. I love learning this stuff and I'm really excited about this token, Financial and Educational Freedom. It's put on by a good friend of mine who I've been connected with online for quite some time, the bus.